Jay Borlecki from Varanasi. Today in this episode I want to teach you some Hindi, some essential phrases and essential words and I want to explain to you how to use them, when to use them and the reason why you're going to choose that word in particular. By learning some Hindi when you come on holiday to India you will not only form better friendships, have a better connection with people, travel around the country much easier but you'll also save yourself a lot of the time from getting ripped off, getting scammed um, because the perception will be of you just by knowing a few words that you know India quite well, that you've been here many times and people will think, okay, I'm not going to waste my time trying to scam this guy because he knows the deal. He's speaking some Hindi to me, so what's the point? I'll go and find an easier target, which is good for you and good for me. So, okay, let's begin. Let me teach you some essential Hindi words and phrases. Okay, the first thing we need to know are the most important things and that is the greetings. Um, in India you have three main groups, um, religious groups. You have the Sikhs, you have the Hindus, you have the Muslims. So I'm going to teach you the three phrases to use for the three people and how to recognise which person to use those greetings for. Okay, so the main phrase in India is Namaste. Everyone knows Namaste. Every tourist you meet will say Namaste. Now, Namaste really is a Hindu greeting, but you can use it with anyone. You're not going to insult anyone if you say Namaste. If you say it to a Muslim or a Sikh or a Jain or a Buddhist, you're not going to insult them. So you can say Namaste. But personally, I don't use it. You see, the thing is with Namaste, as I said, every tourist knows Namaste. They'll all say, oh, Namaste, Namaste. So I prefer to use a different one. I prefer to use Namaskar. Okay? It just says that I've been here a little bit longer than the average tourist who knows Namaste. Because like I say, Everyone knows Namaste. Now, there are other ones also. You can say Ram Ram. You can say Jay Borlicky. There's lots of phrases that you can use, but I just use Namaskar. Okay, so when you see someone, you just turn to them and you say, by the way, Namaskar. <laughs> you see, Namaskar. Just throw it out there. Very simple. All right. The next one is Assalamu Alaikum, which we use for Muslims. Now, how are you going to recognize who to say Assalamu Alaikum to? How would you recognize a Muslim? Well, there are a few clues with who is Muslim and who is Hindu and who is Sikh. But we'll talk about Muslims now. The way to recognize a Muslim normally is by their clothes. Oh, a lot of the time they'll wear like pajama curtains, like a long kind of pajama top and bottom. A lot of the time they'll have beards. Hindus normally are clean shaven. They don't have beards. Whereas Muslims, a lot of the time, they'll have a beard. Especially if that beard is dyed orange, like with henna, or the hair as well. That often normally means it's a Muslim. Okay, so remember that. So when you see a Muslim, you're going to throw out a Salaam Alaikum. You're going to raise your hand up. Salaam Alaikum. Okay. Now, there's no Muslim guys here. So I can't demonstrate that now. But that's what you're going to say. You're going to say Salaam Alaikum. Okay. Ah, I see one up ahead. Should we go and practice on him? Let's go and practice. Let's do the old salam alaikum and see if we get a reply. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. Salam alaikum, sir. Yeah, okay. Ah, yeah. pan, here, no? Pan. Ah, check, check, check. Hang it, yeah. Huh? Hang it. Uh huh. Name on there. All right. So, did you recognise the beard? See, people. Salam alaikum, sir. Muslim people often have a beard and a little skull cap, so that's how you know to say Assalamu Alaikum. All right, here's how we're going to a Muslim area. All right, the other greeting is Sat Sri Akal, and that's the greeting that we're going to use for Sikh people. How do you recognize a Sikh? A Sikh is the most obvious and easy person to recognize in India because of the turban, right? So when you want to see a Sikh and you want to greet him, don't say Namaste, don't say Assalamu Alaikum, say Sat Sri Akal. Oh, Assalamu Alaikum, sir. There's a tiger. When you see a Sikh, you say Sat Sri Akal, okay? Sat Sri Akal. Very easy to recognize a Sikh. That won't be any trouble whatsoever. So those are the main greetings that we've got in India. Like I say, you can say Namaste for a Hindu, but I prefer to say Namaskar. It just gives me that feel about me that I know a little bit more than the average tourist. Namaskar ji. Kya hai yahan pe? Kaisa hai aap log? Ha, sab badhiya, sab theek hai. Ha, main kahan se? England se. Acha England. England ji. Ye England live live England mein hai. Not live. No, video. And what are you buying? Sari? My, my sari sari. Sari shop. Okay, nice to meet you. Enjoy your shop. <clears throat> All right, so as I was saying, just by throwing out Namaskar separates you from the other tourists who, who just say Namaste and nothing more. You can also say Ram Ram if you want. All right, that's the greetings out the way.
All right. Now we know how to say the three phrases Namaste, Namaskar, or we know how to say Assalamu Alaikum, we know how to say Sat Sri Akal. Now let's learn how to address people in a different way. And now this is what I mean by this. What do you say? You don't just say Namaskar, but we're going to add some extra word to show that we know even Hindi even better. Okay? And so this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to show you. Let this guy come past on his scooter. Or not. Okay. So there are different ways to address people, men and women. For a woman, I would normally use, if she's older than me, if she's much older than me, I would say mummy G, okay? Now G is a small word we add on to the end of phrases to show respect. That's why we don't just call Gandhi, Gandhi. We will say Gandhi G, J-I. It's just a small word, but it shows, it conveys respect, okay? So, you can use it like this. So with a woman, I would say, Namaskar, mummy G, okay? Make sure you put the G on the end. She'll show him respect. She's older than you, right? She's your elder, okay? If someone's the same age, you can use, you could just say madam, you could say mom. You have all these different options. But I would say that the one I most use for a woman is, um, what would I use? I'd probably say auntie G, to be honest with you. Namaskar, auntie G. No reply, but okay, that doesn't matter. But I explained it to you, okay? So I would say for a woman, if she's roughly the same age, auntie G, okay? So put the G on the end. If she's much older, mummy G. All right. For men, you've got a few options, okay? Now, the most common one is Baisab, okay? Baisab means kind of, we don't have the exact phrase in English, but it would be kind of like um, respected brother, or no, brother boss, you could say that, so Baisab. Okay, so you say Namaskar Baisab, okay? It just separates you from the other tourists, you just say Namaste, okay? So Namaste Baisab. That is for, you use Baisab for someone you want to show some respect for. Maybe, I don't know, they've achieved something in their life. Maybe they're just older than you, right? So maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they're working for a company. Maybe it's a policeman, you want to say Baisab. You don't want to call a policeman Bai. Bai means brother. Okay, so Baisab, Namaskar Baisab, Salaam Alaikum Baisab, Satsurikab. Okay, so that's how you would do that. You'd say Baisab. That's the one that I use most commonly. If someone's your age or a bit younger, you know, and you just like a more informal relationship with them, you can call them Bai. Okay? What about you? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Okay, so you see, with him, he was like my age, you know, he's just chilling out. So I said Bai. Brother. Bai means brother. Okay? So there you go. So. You can say Namaskar Bai Saab, you can say Namaskar Bai. Satsrikal Bai Saab, Satsrikal Bai. Salam Alaikum Bai Saab, Salam Alaikum Bai. Those are your options, okay? So, let's move on to the next bit. The next important thing that we're going to learn how to say is to ask people, how are you? It's very important, right? So once we've said, Namaskar Bhai Saab, Namaskar Saab, we're going to say, Ap kese hai? That's the formal way to learn it. Ap kese hai? How are you? Okay? So that's a very important phrase. But I very rarely use Ap kese hai. Why? Because I'm moving at speed. I'm going through, I'm going through markets and bazaars. Everyone shouts, it's me. Hey, hey, come to my shop, come to my shop or whatever. I just want to be informal and quickly say hello or quickly ask, how are you? But I don't want to get stuck into a long conversation, right? Now, how would you do that? Instead of saying, up kese hai, you can say, or. Now, or means like, and. But when you say like, or by sub, or by, it kind of means like, hey, what's up? You know, what's happening? Something more like that. It's more informal than up kese hai. So, um, yeah, that's how I would do it. Let's see if we can um, practice with someone. Or by sub, kese tige. What about up? You don't always get the reactions on film that you do at other times. But, so that's what you would say. You would say, or, okay, you wouldn't say, up kese hai. What about up? Yeah, yeah, up kebas. Sweet hai, na? Achha, me vapa, stick it up. Okay, so there you go, so it's or. Just say, or about up. And that just means, hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Yeah? So, because I'm moving quite quickly a lot of the time, I don't want to be stopping all the time saying, up kese hai. It's kind of more of a mouthful. Also, some tourists know how to say, up kese hai. But no tourist ever says, or. So you just say, or by sab, okay? So that's how you're going to say, how are you, in Hindi. Now then, the reply you're going to get to, how are you, is almost always going to be, bariya. What bariya? Bariya means like great, good. Because Indian people will never, when you ask them, or just or they're never going to reply 
Oh man, what could I have? What could I have? Indian people are very positive, so they will always answer Baria. What Baria? Or Boda Chahe? Or Tike? Okay? So, um, yeah, so that's the reply basically of how are you? What about that? There's a Tike. Baria. Okay, we need to know how to say thank you in Hindi. It's a very simple little word. You just say Danyabad. Okay? Just say Danyabad. Very simple. Thank you. Danyabad. Alright, something else we're going to be using a lot in India is to ask how much is something, right? Now, if you want to ask how much, you say the word kitne and then you say the word rupiah because we use rupees in India, right? So kitna rupiah. But I don't do that. I say kitna pesa. Now, why do I say kitna pesa instead of kitna rupiah? Well, kitna pesa is a phrase that isn't really used so much in India anymore. People, because of inflation and things, people normally say now kitna rupiah. Pesa is just the cents, right? It's their pennies or their cents. So by saying kitna pesa, it kind of implies that, oh, wow, this guy knows old school Hindi. He's been here for a long time. So he's not saying kitna rupee like everyone else. He's still saying what we used to say in the 1990s. So it just adds a little hint or it gives them the, the intimation that you know India better than most people. So when you want to ask a price of something, you say kitna pesa. Let's go and use it. What about that? Yeah, it's kitna pesa. It's kitna pesa. 10 rupees for this one. Acha, acha, acha. Then you wash up. So you see, it's very simple. You just say, Kitna Pesa. Now then, when it comes to the numbers, there's no point me spending an hour now trying to teach you all the numbers up to 100 and stuff like that. I'm going to leave you guys to learn the numbers by yourself. All right. The next thing we're going to need to know how to say <clears throat> is, where is? Right, maybe you want to find out where your hotel is or where there's a restaurant or something like that. So you need to know how to say where is. Now in Hindi, when we want to say where is, we say kaha hai, kaha hai. So I can ask someone, what do I say? Is sabse restaurant kaha hai? Restaurant kaha hai? Yahan pe hai? Kaha hai? Acha, wow, yeah. Okay, so you see that? So I said kaha hai, okay? Where is? So a restaurant kaha hai? Um, dukan, shop kaha hai? Uh, hotel, Kahahe. Okay? Now, if you want to say you don't happen to know, you can say, Apko Neymalum, Kahahe. Apko Neymalum. You don't know where is. Apko Neymalum. You don't know and then what you're saying. So that just adds by making the phrase longer than just Kahahe. If you add on that, Apko Neymalum, Kahahe, it means you don't happen to know where is. Okay? All right. The next thing we're going to learn in Hindi is how to tell people your name and where you're from. Because those are the two questions you are constantly going to be asked when you're walking around. People are going to say, where are you from? What's your name? And so to do that, you're going to say, Mira Nam, my name, Bald He. My name is Bald. Mira Nam John He. Mira Nam Michelle He. Mira Nam Louise He. People are also going to ask you, where are you from? They're going to say, Ab Kaanse. Where are you from? And you're going to answer that by saying, Me England, se. Me America, se. Me Tokyo, se. Okay? So, me, the place where you're from, and then, se, from. Okay? So, me, Tokyo, from. Okay? Me England, se. Okay? That's how you say it. From England? Uh, London? No. Manchester? No. Carlos? Where? Carlos. No. My name? Ah, you're Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Hey, what are you doing? Two times. One time. What are you I give massage. I don't want to ask you. I give massage. Hey, brother, listen to me. This is my first time here. I don't want to ask you. Okay. 
So this is what you say. A lot of the times, like this, you're going to get hassled by people, okay? Or you're going to try to get overcharged. And there's a phrase you're going to use that is going to show people that you're not one to be overcharged, you're not one to be cheated, you know the score in India. And that is this, and it is... My sub? Ye mira peli bar yahan pe nahi hai. This is not my first time here. Once you say that, they're like, whoa, okay, I understand. He speaks Hindi, it's not his first time. What's the point of me trying to rip this guy off? I'll find an easier target. So when people come up to you and start approaching you and hassling you, you're gonna say, Are ya bhai sab? Ye mera peli baari yaan pe nahi hai. Okay, and do it with a bit of a frown on your face, yeah? Don't be like all smiley when you do it. Ye mera peli baari yaan pe nahi hai. Okay, all right, you got that one. All right, now there's another phrase we can throw in that just separates you from everyone else and will show that you know the score here. And that is, Mirabasono. And that means, listen to what I'm saying, okay? Mirabasono. So if you add that onto certain phrases, it conveys, wow, who is this guy? Who is this woman? She knows India, right? She knows Hindi much better than you really do, in fact. So we can start building phrases now. Mirabasono means listen to what I'm saying. So we can use it like this. If someone's trying to charge you, overcharge you on a rickshaw ride or something like that, you can say Okay, that's what you can say and that means listen to what I'm saying brother this isn't my first time in India and automatically the price will drop down okay, because they're like wow I wasn't expecting that so we'll repeat it again Okay, and say it seriously <laughs> so another phrase, another phrase we're going to use in Hindi to convey that we've been here a long time is the phrase Ariya. Okay, Ariya in English kind of means like flipping heck. You know, it's not rude, it's not a swear word, but it's kind of like Ariya. And you should touch your head when you say it. So if someone comes up to you and they're trying to like hassle you, you say Ariya, by sub, kya mangta, kya what do you want, yeah? Ariya, okay? Foreigners don't use Ariya. You start using Ariya in your Hindi, adding it into your conversation, you will definitely give the impression that you've been here a long time. Ariya, flipping heck. Like, what do you want? All right, another very important phrase to use in India is Nahi Cheye. Which is called Nietzsche. It means I don't want it. So when someone's hassling you, someone's following you, some rickshaw wallets are grabbing you, you say, Ariya bai sab. Ariya bai sab. Which is called Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Okay? It's not necessary. I don't want it. I don't need it. Okay? Nietzsche. So by now, you should start having some phrases that you can start joining together to make longer phrases. So we can start saying, instead of just saying kitna pesa, when you want to know the price of something, you can start saying things like order by sab, kitna pesa, acha. Okay, you can start throwing in extra phrases. Okay, let's learn a couple more words that are important. The word for very is bahut. Bahut, okay? So the word for expensive is mehenga. So if someone tells you a price, like a rickshaw while you don't like the price, you can say, Are ya bhai sab, ye bod mehenga na? Ye bod mehenga, okay? Bod mehenga. Aapka dukaan bod mehenga nahi hai. Achya. Okay, bod mehenga. The opposite of mehenga is sasta, okay? Cheap, sasta. So if someone gives you a good price, say, Oh, are ya, ye bod sasta hai na? Ye bod sasta. So we have mehenga, we have sasta, okay? All right, another essential little phrase that you will want to use a lot is Kyahua. What happened? What's happening? Kyahua? Ariya, Kyahua. Okay. A lot of the time in India, people will stare at you and they'll be staring at you and they might not be smiling when they stare at you. It might be a little bit intimidating for some people, but don't take it the wrong way. They're just interested in seeing a foreigner. I mean, most people can't travel to our countries, right? So they don't often see foreigners. So when they do, they're just interested in like looking at us and observing us. So if you just want to break the ice a little bit with those people, you just say, Orbe, Kiawa. 
and immediately they'll break into a smile and they'll say, oh, kuchne, oh, nothing. And then you shake their hand and everything's okay, you know? So when people are staring or something, or something's up, you say, kya hua? What happened? What's up? What's happening? All right, kya hua? Sabariya. That's ya. Kya hua? Okay, I'm going to teach you something very simple now, which is how to say sorry in Hindi. And it's very simple because you don't have to say anything. To say sorry, you just do this. Touch your ear. Touch your ear, either like this or like this. And that means you're sorry. If you tread on someone's foot, if you bang someone by mistake, you just go, oh, sorry. Like this, okay? Uh, Unfortunately, sometimes in India, you're going to have to get angry, to show your anger, your displeasure. Now, I'm not going to teach you swear words, but I'm going to teach you one word that you can use that kind of like shows your displeasure, your anger with someone, um, which is the word buggle, which means crazy. So if someone does something to you, which you don't like, maybe they're hassling you or whatever, they're like, whatever it is that you dislike about it, you can say, Are kya ya pagal hai or kya? Pagal hai or kya? Okay, it's like, what the, what the hell, are you crazy or what? Okay. Don't use all the time. Just bring it out for those moments when you feel you're being disrespected or something like that. But you can say that. So, bagel is the word for crazy, for mad. Are ya? Bagel or kya? And if you touch your head and you frown at the same time, it gives more effect. So, are kya? Bagel or kya? Bagel Okay? So, that's one you can use. Okay, let's learn how to say goodbye. What do I say when I say goodbye to people? Now there's a few ways to say it, but the simplest one that I always use is Fir Milenge. Fir Milenge. So when you finish an interaction with someone, you can say Fir Milenge, which basically means see you again. Until next time, Fir Milenge. Very simple. Fir Milenge. Well, all right, guys. I think I've taught you some stuff, stuff you probably didn't know before. And so, yeah, when you come to India, start using those phrases, start adding them on. Instead of just saying Namaste or Namaskar, say Namaskar by Saab. Instead of saying Kitna Pesa, how much, say Ye Kitna Pesa by Saab. These things just give the impression that you know India better than the average tourist. And also it just helps you um, integrate a little bit more with the local people, which is what we want when we go on holiday, right? And finally, smile. The amount of tourists I see walking around who look miserable who treat India like a battle, instead of treating it like an adventure. So, um, yeah, smile, have fun, use the language, meet people. All right, guys, until next time, Fir Milenge. See you again. Okay, time for some bonus material, words that I forgot to tell you in the main video. I'm on my way to the airport, so I'll just tell these things, they come off the top of my head. Good, good, you can say acha. So if someone says apke se hai, you can say acha. If someone says how is the food, kana kese laga, you can say bodacha, bodacha. Okay, so acha means good. If you want to say never mind, you can say koi badni. Koi badni means never mind. So if someone says something like I don't have a room, you can say a koi badni, never mind. Do you have Masala chai, no? Koi yeah, yeah. me. Masala I have. I have masala chai. Don't know who this guy is. Ariya, mushko niche. Tika. All right. Next one. If you want to say the most, you say subse. So the best is subse acha. The worst is subse kharab. The most beautiful would be subse sundar. Subse the most. A really important word that you're going to be using a lot is cello. Cello. Let's go. So you could say to someone, if you want to say to someone, go with me, you'd say, cello mirasat. Let's go with me. Cello. If you sit in a rickshaw, you can say, cello. Let's go. Yeah? Cello. Sometimes people will say to you, kahan jana, kahan gumre. Means where are you going? You can use it. Kahan gumre. Where are you going? Kahan gumre. Mujhko nahi malum. 